Let's look at differences between direct and indirect inguinal hernia. In direct inguinal hernia, the inguinal mass protrudes through the Hesselbach's triangle, uh, which is formed by the inferior epigastric vessels uh, laterally, uh, the inguinal ligament uh, below, and uh, okay, so here we have a linear alba, but anatomically correct will be uh, the lateral border of the rectus abdominis, right? The mass is medial to the inferior epigastric vessels and is it only passes through the superficial inguinal ring. In indirect hernia, this results in coils of small intestines being able to pass through the deep inguinal ring and enter the inguinal canal. The mass is palpable through the deep inguinal ring and lies lateral to the inferior epigastric vessels. So let's look at other differences. Right. Indirect hernia occur at any age, right? Mostly in childhood, but it can occur also in adulthood. Direct inguinal hernia is more common in elderly. Indirect hernia occurs in a pre-existing sac, but direct is always acquired. Indirect hernia protrusion uh, is through the deep inguinal ring and herniation occurs later. Indirect herniation is through the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. Indirect hernia is piriform or oval in shape and it descends obliquely and downwards. Direct hernia is globular and round in shape and it descends directly and forward. Indirect hernia can be complete by descending into the scrotum. Uh, but in direct hernia, uh, they rarely descend into the scrotum. In indirect hernia, the neck of the sac is narrow and lateral to the inferior epigastric artery. In direct hernia, the neck of the sac is wide and medial to the inferior epigastric artery. In indirect hernia, the sac is anterolateral to the cord, and in direct, the sac is posterior to the cord. Okay, let's flip it. Direct versus indirect. So, a uh, ring occlusion test shows impulse after occluding the deep ring. But a ring occlusion test does not show any impulse after a deep ring occlusion in indirect hernia. Invagination test shows impulse over the pulp of the little finger in direct hernia. But uh, in indirect hernia, the impulse is uh, is shown on the tip of the little finger. Zeeman's test shows impulse on the middle finger in direct hernia, and it shows impulse on the index finger in indirect hernia. Direct hernias are commonly bilateral, uh, while indirect hernias are commonly unilateral but they can be bilateral. Obstruction and strangulation are rare in direct hernias, but they can occur. Obstruction and strangulation are common in indirect hernia. The sac is not necessarily opened unless obstruction is present in direct hernia, but in indirect hernia, they should be opened during surgery thank you so much if you like this video make sure you click the thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section and also uh, you can support me by checking out some of the books i have uh, just to check in the uh, description you will find uh, some books there they are on amazon right so that's how you can support me until next time